the Ukrainian army finally received shells to stop the Russians near Kharkiv. Ukrainian soldiers in the Kharkov region finally received shells to stop Russian troops. Reuters reports this. The agency recalled that Ukraine's defenders were paralyzed for months due to a shortage of artillery shells and other weapons as the US Congress delayed billions of dollars in military aid. Russian forces exploited their advantage at the front as they pushed forward on the Eastern Front. With Congress belatedly approving a $61 billion aid package last month, Ukrainian gunners say the crippling deficit is beginning to ease. Local residents say the fighting in the northern Kharkiv region is more intense than in Bakhmut, which Russia captured last year and reduced to ruins. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Their infantry continues to advance. We continue to fight off attacks. When possible, we destroy them. Previously, we were stationed in the Bakhmut area. Now we have been transferred here. It's much hotter here. There, we didn't have shells. Here, at least, we have shells. They started to be brought in. We have something to work on. A gunner of the 92nd Separate Assault Brigade of Ukraine operating a howitzer told the agency. The military is reportedly confident that the supply of shells will continue as everyone understands the importance of holding the front. If we can demonstrate now that we are capable of stopping a large-scale enemy offensive on Kharkov and the Kharkov region in such an extreme situation, then the enemy will not dare to think about attacking Kyiv, Chernihiv region, Sumy or Poltava region, the commander of one of the artillery units told Reuters. Russian forces recently began a summer offensive, grabbing several villages on Ukraine's northeastern frontier near the city of Kharkiv as they attempt to break through a weakened Ukrainian front line. A hailstorm hit Poland's western city of Nizno on Monday, causing flooding in the city and covering it in snow. Thunderstorms and hail continue in the city, prompting authorities to issue warnings for local residents. The Polish Institute of Meteorology and Water Management issued a hail warning for several regions on Monday. There is an increased level of danger for three regions. Thunderstorms are forecast with heavy rainfall of up to 80 mm, the institute said. Polish Defense Minister Władysław Kosiniak-Kamysz announced that the Polish military would join in helping those affected by the hailstorm and eliminating the consequences of the disaster. Soldiers are mobilizing forces to provide assistance to the victims and eliminate the consequences, after the hailstorm in Nizno, the minister said. In Nizno and the surrounding area, rescuers received about 200 calls related to the disaster. The vast majority of these emergency calls had to do with pumping water out of flooded basements, apartments and commercial premises. Local farmers have already reported significant losses as many orchards were severely damaged.